All right, Swedish prosecutors say they believe they know who killed former Swedish Prime Minister Olof Palmer in 1986, but say the suspect has since died. They've identified the suspect as Stig Engström, also known as Scandia Man, who killed himself in 2000. Now, for a continuation of this conversation, we're joined on the line by the Swedish ambassador to South Africa, Ambassador Cecilia Julian. Ambassador, thank you so much for making the time this morning two things coming out of that uh, media briefing in the morning uh, Stich Enstrom being the stronger lead and two uh, disqualification of the South African link saying not enough specific information what are your initial thoughts about that briefing well I think it's uh, sort of the end of a 34 year old trauma for all Swedes uh, maybe we would have like to have an even more conclusive uh, ending to it. Uh, but I think the prosecutor gave uh, a good, uh, credible explanation of uh, the person he's now pointing at. Is there an, an appetite in Sweden to continue uh, with, with, with digging up the facts? Or is there a sense of, let's walk away now? Well, I think for a lot of people, it will be an end point. Uh, but, um, I mean, as we know, there have been various theories, and the so-called South Africa track has been one. Uh, I'm sure there will still be people who, who will not uh, think that this is a final word. They will pursue their, their different theories. Uh, but I think for the great majority, uh, this will be an end. Are you able to take us into the conversations between the uh, South African government and the Swedish authorities that came through earlier as part of this investigation? No, this would be something for the investigation uh, in Sweden to comment upon. Yeah. So what's the way forward now? Uh, well, I think we will have a lot of commentaries on, on, on this. And, and as I said, I think there will still be some of the people who have contributed with their different theories uh, to the investigation. They will continue and I think uh, talk about their theories. Uh, but as I said, I think the prosecutor gave a, a good and comprehensive explanation to why he has landed where he has landed and pointed and points on, on uh, Steve Engstrom. Yeah. Why, why was there a need to have a global briefing in terms of letting the world know about what has happened? Are there questions globally about this incident? Well, as you may know, there have been sort of different theories. Uh, there was, uh, I mean, the initial one that it was uh, the PKK, the, the Kurdish uh, organization that was responsible. Uh, we have lived through the years with the South African track, and then there have been different persons that have been sort of pointed out or, or investigated. Uh, and I think there's no conclusiveness to, to anything of it. And I think maybe the lack of, of very hard technical evidence. I mean, they still haven't found the, the weapon that actually shot uh, the prime minister. Um, there will be still room, I think, for speculations going onwards. But hopefully this puts more or less an end to it. Ambassador South Africa is celebrating Youth Month in June. Just for the benefit of our younger viewers, just remind us who Olof Palmer is in terms of the South African uh, struggle against apartheid. We know that just two weeks before his death, he had met uh, with ANC president then uh, Oliver Tambo. Well, yes, he was one of the uh, I mean, leaders in Sweden when it came to, to Sweden's resistance to the apartheid regime. And he was really sort of the, the, the leading uh, agent. Uh, and he also formed a very close friendship with Oliver Tambo. And uh, it is said whenever Oliver Tambo would come to Sweden, they would often go home to Olaf Palmer's house and sit in the kitchen uh, having dinner and uh, solving the problems uh, of the world. Uh, so they, he was really, I think, a central figure. Um, and unfortunately, he was murdered before democracy came to South Africa and, and uh, Nelson Mandela came to present his gratefulness for what, what Sweden had been during those struggle. Let's thank you again for making the time to talk to us this morning. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. The Swedish ambassador to South Africa, Ambassador Cecilia Julen.